So, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create the iOS icons on your React Native app done using React Native CLI. So currently here, I have an app which is which has been initialized using the create react native app in it so i have a video which is linked in the description that's where i create this app or i initialize this app if you want to see that so one of the problems now is that we currently don't have an ape icon so you can see this over here there is currently no app icon so what we're going to do now is that we're going to add an app icon to this app and the way we're going to do this is to just go over the code that we have and then we're going to set it up there's a way that uh, we have everything that we need so step number one is to open your react native app and we have the app here and it's currently open step number two is to generate the image that you want as the app icon that's what we're gonna do now so here i currently have a figma file this figma file has an image which is in this layer over here currently the dimensions are 1024 by 1024 you must make sure it has these dimensions and then you have to save or export your image as a png sometimes the best way to do it is to actually save it under your app uh, create a folder called assets and then just save it there then I give it a name of logo okay. after we've done that what I'll do now which is step number three after you have your image you are gonna go to this website called app icon dot co and then in this file here we're gonna click on iOS because at the moment we're looking for iOS and then we're gonna go to the picture that we just downloaded and then we're gonna paste it under the under the selected area so let's see on our side we're just gonna frame everything So we're going to come here and then we're going to select the image that we want. After we've done that, we're going to generate the image. It should have save a folder the folder will have will be a zip file with all the assets that we want okay. 
So what are you looking to do now is that you have to unzip the file that you just downloaded from that image icon website. Inside it should contain the assets from Apple, which is about 11 images. So we're going to put this to the side and then you have to open Xcode. So in Xcode, you have to open the file that you want. You have to go to Xcode and then say open. And then in this case, we want to open this app here. So we're going to cancel this guy. Open Xcode. Open file. Select the app that you want. Let's try again. Okay, so you're gonna have to open the file. Go to the iOS folder. And then click on open. This will normally take a few minutes while it's loading up. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to Make sure that you're in the folder or your project navigator. And then in your project navigator, what you want to do is that you want to open the options. And then what will follow here is that you have to go to the images. So like in the iOS folder, we have to locate the images. So just click on here, go to images. Then you have to click on app icon and there we go. So we'll see the images there. And then now you'll go to that those images that you created from the other website. So let me move this guy to the side. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna grab these images and then put them in their relevant places. For example, we see that we got 40 here, which we're going to drag to 40. Then we have 60, which we're going to drag to 60. Got 58, we're going to drag the image, which is 58 pixels. We got 87, we're going to drag the 87 image. We got 80, we're going to drag the 80. We got 120. I drag the 120 image. We still have 120 once more. 180. And then to top it off, we got 1022, 124. And there we go. We have all the images that you want. 
so now what you have to do is that you have to restart the app and everything is done just like that super cool so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna go to the app I'm gonna just close it off and then I'm gonna start the app once more I'm gonna build the app and then the images or the splash icons should be there So I've placed a link in the description to my medium post on this. So if you don't follow a tutorial, you want to follow a return article, you can just go to medium. I've also placed the Android options there as well. I'm going to create a separate video for the Android platform. The app has started up now and you can see the new icon. Cool. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you're looking for the Android implementation, check my next video.